Good afternoon. Today I want to talk to you about the blessing of the hair dryer. Now I'm not talking about the kind you hold in your hand and you blow your hair dry after a quick shower. I'm talking about the old fashioned kind of hair dryer that you sit down, you put your whole head in and you shake it all about and you have to sit there. That's the kind I'm talking about and I'll have the blessing of having that time today. Usually I sit there with anxiety and thinking about my to-do list and how it's wasting my time. But today I decided to just relax and to just sit in the stillness and quietness of that moment. It was wonderful. I took a deep breath and then I tried to breathe out all that stuff that had you know, filled up inside of me and that I was worried about. And I took several other deep breaths and continued to blow out those things that were uh, troubling to me. And then I just rested in the everlasting arms of God and let him hold me and let me feel close to him and let me feed on his power and his love and his grace. You know, we talked in our staff Bible study today about a passage from Matthew. One of the things that we learned is that the disciples were anxious as well. And they had trouble just leaning into God and letting him hold them. It seems like all, sometimes all we want to do is to grab on to God when, we ha when it's our last resort. When we can't think of anything else to do, we reach out our hand for him to rescue us. What would it be like if we held his hand all through the day, every day, and just relied on that strength and comfort that he can give? That's what I did when I sat under the hair dryer. And I just relaxed and let him be God to me. And of course, the added benefit of spending time under the hair dryer is you come out looking like a whole new person when you're finished. Well, Maybe not a whole new person, but at least a nice hair. Another scripture that comes to mind is Psalm 4610. It says, be still and know that I am God. I'd like to invite you to join me in prayer as I line that verse out and we just reflect on each word. Let us pray. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am. Be still and know that I. Be still and know that. Be still and know. Be still and. Be still. Be. Amen. Thank you for joining us today, and I hope you have a good rest of the week.